Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today we're going to be doing a, another showdown with the games of 2016, this time utilizing the 8GB RX 480 from AMD and the 6GB the GTX 1060 from Nvidia. Both of these cards are fairly close in terms of their pricing and kind of their placement in the market, what they're kind of going after with the sub $300 price point, uh, kind of like mid-range GPUs. Right now, at the time of making this video, the RX 480, uh, the one that I used here today, the MSI RX 480, you could find that for around $265, while the 1060 variant for that is up around $290. So the RX 480 is coming in just a little bit cheaper, so we will see you know, where that all plays into how our performance is here so we can see what is the best price to performance ratio uh, GPU, I guess, here for 2016 at under $300. Uh, we are using my main system here along with the i7-6800K and 32 gigabytes of RAM and all of the games were running off of an SSD so that's going to help eliminate any possibility of a hardware bottleneck so we're just seeing a straight GPU shootout. Both of these cards were tested on the latest drivers from NVIDIA and AMD. So for Team Green, that's 376.33. And for Team Better Red, that is 16.12.2. And despite using the MSI RX 480, I did go ahead and lower the clock speeds down to what the reference speed would be of 1266 megahertz since we are using a reference model GTX 1060. I did have the power limit increased to the max on both of these cards so that we can maintain our highest clock speed, which is just something I really do with any card I put into my system. Even if I'm not, even, even if I'm not overclocking, I will generally go ahead and raise my power limit all the way to the max. So I did that with both of these cards, but the clock speeds were both matching what their reference clocks would be out of NVIDIA as well as AMD. But let's go ahead and jump in now and take a, take a look at our performance numbers across some of the biggest games here in 2016. Just like the other day, all of these games were tested up at the Ultra preset. As far as anti-aliasing is concerned, I used either FXA or SMAA when it was available. We did not use anything beyond that. So no SSAA, no super sampling, no MSAA or anything like that. Just SMAA or, F or FXAA when it was available available to us other than that just the ultra preset so looking at 1080p first and then we'll go over to 1440p uh, we could see here that it is going back and forth certainly not the clean sweep like we saw with the r9 390 versus the gtx 970 which was a very clear win uh, for amd here amd did end up taking the majority of the titles at 1080p with eight games versus the five games of the GTX 1060, which is very interesting to see, certainly, because as you know, the year had gone on when I was testing all of these games as they came out, it was really going back and forth. And I would say that the 1060 was taking the majority of the titles. I know when we did DX11 testing earlier this year in the straight head, heads up battle, uh, the 1060 was showing a lot more promise in DX11, whereas the RX 480 was showing more promise in DX12. But we use DX11 in all of these games here, but despite that, the RX 480 has pulled in the majority of the games that we tested at 1080p. So that's kind of proving the old adage of the AMD fine wine technology. Um, pulling in the most of these titles here, we can see uh, NVIDIA did pull, it, pull out in Overwatch, Rise of the Tomb Raider, which I expected in Rise of the Tomb Raider because they won in the 970 versus 390 battle. That was actually the only game they won in that particular set of testing. But NVIDIA also won in Far Cry Primal, Watch Dogs 2, uh, and then also Mafia 3. A couple of those titles are um, NVIDIA Gameworks titles, so that may or may not have something to do with why they are pulling ahead here. In these games, certainly we will. it'll be interesting to go back and look at these titles sort of, uh, you know, a year from now, maybe with these titles or games coming out in 2017 and see which card has held up better over time. Because if anything has shown us in the past, um, it's that the AMD cards tend to age a little bit better than the GTX 1060, uh, or I'm saying uh, NVIDIA cards, I should say, um, which really comes down to the whole fine wine thing that a lot of the uh, fans like to talk about. Uh, AMD, though, they did pull in very strong victories in the likes of Doom, uh, with the Vulcan API, very strong win there with 187 to 160 FPS and the majority of the other titles winning as well. Gears of War 4, a DX12 title, it went out there just by one frame, but very close. I remember when that game first came out, I believe NVIDIA was pulling ahead in that particular benchmark. And now we could see in, uh, AMD is winning out with 95 to 94 FPS. Also winning in The Division, Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Battlefield 1 on 64 player Amiens on Conquest, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Titanfall 2, and Hitman in DX11. So very strong showing here, certainly. 
for the RX 480 at 1080p. Switching over to 1440p now, we can see that the story continues with AMD pulling in the majority of the titles, actually winning out in six games versus NVIDIA's four. And actually, both of these cards had tied in three games, those games being Far Cry Primal, Mafia 3, and Gears of War 4. So those three games, we saw a deadlock tie at 1440p between the GTX 1060 and the RX 480, while the NVIDIA GTX 1060 did pull in clean wins in the likes of Overwatch, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Watch Dogs 2, and Mirror's Edge Catalyst, while the RX 480 rounded out the list, pulling in six games in total, with victories in Hitman, Titanfall 2, Doom on the Vulcan API, which we really should have expected, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Battlefield 1, once again on 64-player, Amiens and Division with DX11. So, um, you know, like I said, very clear victory here, I would say, for the RX 480 versus the GTX 1060 testing now in DX11, which is a complete flip flop with what we saw earlier in the year when we tested. I, had, you know, we had seen more promise in the RX 480 in terms of DX12 and Vulcan testing, while the 1060 was pulling ahead in the majority of DX11 games. But now testing later in 2016, we could see that the gap has closed on some of these titles and in some situations, even seeing AMD pulling just ahead, uh, even in DirectX 11, which, you know, goes back again to the fine wine technology. It seems like the GCN architecture is holding up better over time, getting better driver optimization from AMD, who has really stepped up their game in 2016. You know, in the past, it's always, it's been kind of the joke that, you know, NVIDIA always had better driver optimization, but this year, NVIDIA had a lot of bad drivers come out and a lot of hot fixes having to come out to fix issues with SLI, G-Sync and flickering, uh, lots of issues like that on the NVIDIA side, whereas AMD has really kept up with getting out drivers, you know, ahead of release before big titles were coming out, which is something NVIDIA had traditionally done, at least in the past few years, better than the AMD side. But AMD has really gotten a lot better. They introduced their Relive, um, you know, software after putting out the Crimson drivers earlier in, in the year. Then they came out with Relive so that we can do game capture that's comparable or even uh, in some situations better than the likes of Shadowplay. We've just seen AMD get better over time. And I cannot wait to see what they continue to do in 2017 um, with Ryzen coming out, also AMD Vega. It's certainly going to be interesting to see these cards here uh, as we see newer games coming out next year with Mass Effect Andromeda and all the other games that are going to come out in 2017. I'm going to be continuing to test the RX 480 and the GTX 1060 as I still think it's a very competitive matchup and you guys seem to enjoy those showdowns when the new games do come out and we will have to revisit these games, um, these titles and these cards at the end of 2017 as well, I would certainly think. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here guys. Please leave a like on the video down below if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you guys next time. Turn.